Hi guys, welcome back. This is uh, the new update for the Oxygen OS, which is uh, beta 9 right now. You can see this is the update and it is based on Android Nougat. So already I've shown you what the beta 8, how does it look like, kind of new feature and some bugs and reviews too. So today we're going to again see uh, how does this looks like, what kind of new features are there. So first of all, there are a lot of uh, comments I have from the couple of builds like how to install that. So today I'm going to show you how you can install uh, using the ADB sideload method. And this uh, best way is to uh, you know root your device and install with the twerp so how to root one plus three running in right nougat already have shown you a um, couple of days back so i will have the video link in the description so using this adb site load you need a computer with a minimal adb and fastboot install and optionally you can install uh, android studio uh, you will get this uh, completely full flash adb but the minimal adb will work so i will put the download link in the description so before to that you need to activate this developer option that you can do that by clicking this build number six to seven times and you will see new option developer option you need to turn that on and make sure to turn on this uh, usb debugging and connect your cable with whatever supported cable stand so now we will move to the computer and see first you can see this is the uh, official download page of the oneplus 3 beta so this is what it shows oneplus 3 oxygen is open beta 9 and the download link is there so make sure to download it within one or two days because the beta 8 was just uh, there for 24 hours and download link was disabled so the complete steps for the download is there and also in case you already have 12 installed so you need to uh, install the stock recovery otherwise it won't work so the stock recovery download link is there you can download it from downside so you can see optional this is the uh, oxygen OS recovery you should download that it's just 21 mb file so first you need to power off your device and you can uh, you have to go to the reboot actually this bootloader that you can do this uh, via adb command also or you can use this uh, holding power button and volume down simultaneously then i'm going to use the same method to do that so first you need to uh, turn off your device so here's the one you can turn off Now you need to press this uh, volume uh, power and the volume key down simultaneously. So just click here. So once you feel any vibration, you should leave it. That means uh, you should go inside this recovery bootloader mode. So this is the default of CNN's recovery and you, you have to select English then you need to select this option stall from ADB right upgrade and write from USB you should connect your cable first and click OK then it will wait for uh, you know source load package with ADB side load so now we'll move to computer and see so you can see on the computer it shows loading the file so guys you can see uh, installation is going on so on the computer you can see is uh, somewhere near to three percentage so might take a bit of time uh, hopefully five to six minutes and on the phone right here you can see is uh, updating please wait do not turn your phone off so let it go so our installation is done it's showing the phone install success now we should click on this reboot so it's booted now we'll see the build number whether we have installed this uh, open beta 9 so this is open beta 9 as you can see we are able to install this open beta 9 so i show something new here system updates so this is the update log and it is completely done we will now see some of the new features and the changes so since this is now in the beta so you might not expect any new features like used to get in the community build prior to that like 3.5.5 and all the series so anyway uh, this is beta 9 so the only features that has came back only it was the old feature of the long screenshot and nothing else even though that was very great feature so this is all the change log you can read on the official one plus three community app so most of the things are optimization see there are total uh, eight features are there three to six to eight yeah no sorry seven and except the first edit expanded screenshot rest things are only this optimization and but guys honestly i did not felt anything else uh, maybe some internal uh, even though I will, I'm just going to use that for at least one or two days so I might come to know what is going on so talking about this expanded screenshot if you just take it here click this button so screen is scrolling 
touch screen can finish long screenshot so it will keep on going until it will reach to the end of the page so if you just stop it here so this is what you got you can see a long screenshot and it automatically adjusts itself so that is also a good feature the next feature is shelf uh, design automation so you can see the difference here if you just go to the setting and if you just try to expand this here you will see uh, this is the pixel excel running 7.1.1 if i just make it to this much here so this is what was here on the pixel you can see and this is now matched to the one plus three but if you just leave it that way it is going to be much broader way and the next change is general UI optimization so which is uh, overall system wide and DPI optimization is you can go to display and can change your things so uh, if you go inside the display you will see uh, some kind of night modes are here yeah font size and display size so guys I did felt uh, it's a bit improved compared to the existing uh, beta 8 so that time when you try to change something it take a bit of time here but as you can see this time it changed immediately so it looks like it has been optimized so font size also you can change now we'll move to the next so the next one is uh, uh, battery performance optimization stability and performance optimization so guys uh, i did charge my phone 100 percent that's why i was waited to make this review and i did charge completely and i always do two days two battery discharge review so you need to subscribe for me to watch the review on the two days so that you can update or not so my phone is screen is turned on i was just playing with here somewhere into 10 to 15 minutes i guess so on 10 minutes i just get this uh, one percent battery discharge so it was charged 31 minute ago so it looks like a battery performance really been improved because on the 15 minute screen on time i just got one percent battery discharge and i'm set to auto brightness with like at least to 30 percentage i guess 25 so this is about the battery and now let's see what changes are left so last two being stability and performance optimization general bug fixes so not a new year so guys this is about the changes log now we'll see the performance optimization really how much is the geek and enter to benchmark scores change so there is a bit of surprise here so if you ask personally with me do you really believe on this number so these are just for comparison nothing else so i don't believe on this number because what you see there what you personally use there is totally different so first you can see this is the uh, three scores of the geek on the open beta seven on the left side then on the center beta eight right side we have open beta nine so there is not much performance improvement it's uh, a bit same you can see 1724 1750 1765 so nothing much difference so this is about the geek now we will talk about the n2 so sorry about the beta 8 actually i lost that image uh, i was on this uh, beta 8 but uh, due to pokemon go is my android backup was corrupted and you can see this is the beta 7 is 152 now 154 and the beta 9 is 151 so that's why i said uh, you should not believe on this number so but come here and take a look on the phone again so this is the last i just ran again just guys just to make sure again you can see i got the number 157372 that's why i said uh, i don't believe on this number these numbers keeps on changing so if you really believe on n2 benchmark so you should assume this score so yeah this is uh, well optimized so that's it guys for uh, this quick review for how the installation of this beta 9 build and details change log and if you want to take a look on the two days usage review so make sure don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like that this is Saurabh and i hope you guys find this video helpful i will catch you in the next video have a great day